Right, so we're staying at the uh, Esmeralda uh, Coral Level uh, at uh, Keo Cruz this week. And uh, I'll give you a little uh, walk around the uh, resort and see what you guys think. Uh, so far, uh, experience has been pretty good. So we're just uh, walking into the, uh, the front entrance here. It's a fairly small uh, section of the resort. The coral section is kind of their, their upper end section. So when you first come in here, um, off to the left here is um, where the various tour companies. You can talk to these guys about uh, tours and whatnot. There's Sunwing, Transat, uh, a few others. Off to your uh, right here is the uh, check-in area. Get some chairs to sit down at, and while you're waiting your turn, you can have a little seat here. It's uh, very comfortable. And off on the other side here is uh, the room uh, lobby bar. Inside here is where uh, you can get your uh, reservations for dinner. And around this section is the uh, lobby bar. It's a fairly good selection of uh, alcohol up there. And uh, you can see not, not too crowded. As we uh, walk down this section, there's some of the restaurants are down this way. Now this is uh, kind of end of May, so this is not uh, the high season. In here is a, a breakfast uh, buffet. I got another tour that will show all the various uh, dining sections and whatnot. And another gourmet restaurant here. And so I think we're gonna be eating here tonight, I believe. I'll just keep uh, Walking down, so it's been some washrooms off here. Washrooms are in excellent shape. So resort, I think it's a couple of years old, so things are all in a pretty good functioning state, which um, if you guys have uh, traveled to Cuba before, that's not always the case. So here there's basically, in the coral section, there's seven uh, buildings. Um, come, and come up to the uh, site map here. You can see there's like three kind of close to the lobby area. And another four that are closer to the beach. Number seven is where we are, which uh, up on the top there, I think is a really nice view of the ocean uh, and the resort. So I'll just come in here and give you an idea of what the, um, this is between buildings two and three. Uh, the swim out uh, um, rooms right on the bottom. So it looks like there's, four rooms on the first floor with a swim out, uh, four rooms on the second level, and then one uh, rooftop at the top, and the same uh, on the other side. So the other side, there's no pool though, on the ground floor. Um, the swim out is a really nice a pool. I was, pools are not always excellent in Cuba, but the pool here, I've been in it, it's, it's great, no issues at all. Um, I think next time I might go for the uh, uh, the swim out bar, that's what a lot of people uh, in the various groups were saying, the swim out's good, but it's tough though, because I really like the view of the ocean uh, from up where we are, so. Okay, so let's keep uh, walking down. So now we're walking down towards the beach. You see the first three rooms or buildings uh, we've already passed by. And, um, Straight ahead here, this is interesting. They've actually got an English-style uh, squash court. Um, so I don't know if they've got equipment to rent or whatever. Uh, it's air-conditioned inside. Let's take a little peek in there. I don't think I've ever seen a squash court in a Cuban resort before. Uh, I was a bit worried that it might be an American squash court style, which is a little different. For those of you who know anything about squash, you see the English uh, has a curved wall at the, on the side as opposed to the straight wall of uh, American style. Whoops. Just gotta pull that open. It's nice and air conditioned inside. So uh, if you actually did want to play, it would be fine. You're not gonna, not gonna overheat. Now in here is uh, the gym which again is air conditioned, nice and cold, which uh, is not always the case in gyms in, uh, 
in Cuba. So I would say, I mean, it's uh, well, it's in nice shape, but fairly limited uh, amount of equipment. They've got some, uh, some bars here, some free weights. I'm not seeing any, uh, any dumbbells or any of the shorter bars for doing curls with or anything like that. Oh, no, sorry, here we are. Here's all the, uh, the dumbbells over here. So actually good selection of dumbbells, dumbbells. Um, various uh, bikes, treadmills, a couple of universals. Yeah, a little, a little cramped, I would say. Um, but other than that, uh, good equipment and uh, nice and air conditioned and a very nice facility. There's washrooms, et cetera, in here as well. I close the door there, keep the uh, coolness inside. Okay, so next up on the uh, left here is uh, Spa. So we'll take a little uh, tour in there to so get your normal kind of spa treatments. Uh, I don't think I've ever done a spa. Hola! It's a truck driver. Um, I don't think I've ever done a spa in Cuba, I think I've maybe done a spa once, and generally the, the massages are not, not the sort of quality that I'm used to in terms of a registered massage therapist, but uh, let's get the washrooms there. So it looks a pretty nice setup. We've got a pool, pool down below, some chairs to hang out in, massage tables, some areas to hang out. Probably, uh, these are probably treatment rooms down here. Let's take a quick look. It looks like I got a sauna and such are just some storage areas in here. Yeah, sauna. It's probably a steam room. Yeah, fairly nice uh, facility. But again, uh, usually you don't see too many people in these as a rule. Um, I guess I'm random steps in this place. All right, let's keep uh, keep going down. So basically the buildings are on the right uh, for like the, the rooms and then on the left tends to be other uh, other facilities. So we can take a look at this. This would be between rooms four and five. And again, it's pretty well the same thing. Um, as far as the room goes, I think the rooms are all basically the same same layout. You can see there's it's not crowded at all this week. Um, got the chairs laid out here. Now these guys are going to get the sun in the afternoon right now in the evening or in the morning the sun's a bit behind the buildings from what i can tell most of the people here seem to have the swim out rooms um, i think we're the only other i think i maybe saw one other guest with the rooftop uh, room and uh, we had to kind of charm the uh, the front desk to make sure we got uh, Building number seven at the end there, because that's where the uh, that's where the best view of the ocean is. So the next thing of interest uh, up here on the uh, left is there's another Alicard restaurant right there. That's where we ate last night. And this is the uh, kind of snack bar. This is where I think is normally where the lunches are. Now, I think during the high season, you can get lunch here as well as up near the lobby. But uh, during the low season, I think this is the only place that uh, we have lunch. Um, as we'll take a little walk around in here. There's tables all uh, laid out. It's also it's a bar as well, so you can get your uh, alcohol and whatever. Let's take a look at the menu. Uh, I had the chicken yesterday. It was quite good. Um, oh, they got the cocktail menu. Let's get a bit closer. And uh, French fries, sandwiches. Ah, I don't see chicken here. 
Okay, I guess we're not having chicken for lunch today then. Maybe try a hamburger. So I think we're getting pretty close to the end of uh, the resort here. Uh, right, you can see there's another um, Alica restaurant over there. So there's, I don't know how many there's all together. There's two here and then two up at the top, several buffets. Um, but I think in the low season, it, they're going to kind of cycle through the uh, um, a la carte. I don't think each one's going to be open every night, as, as far as I can tell. And yeah, so there, I'm just trying to swing around these trucks here. So there's a pathway down to the beach. I've got another video coming up with the uh, showing you the beach and all what's happening down there. Um, and here is the, uh, this is building number seven. So we're up on top there. You can kind of see there's this massive walk around uh, patio up there in a beautiful view. Um, you can check that out with my room tour uh, if you want. Um, anyways, thanks, thanks for watching. And uh, if you want to see more videos, please subscribe and like. Thank you.